Now the key signature, I, I could have made a case for having three, maybe four key signatures in this tune. I've gone for just two. Um, let's look at the music here. So here's the title at the top, Born to Run, Glockenspiel. Um, now it says notes sound at one octave higher than written. So this first note B, the first note of the tune, which is this lowest B on the glockenspiel, um, it actually, the pitch of it is actually an octave higher than it's written here. And, you, and you'd say, well, why, why on earth would you do that? And the reason is uh, so that you don't have notes way above the stave in extra ledger line. So in this way, the music all, all fits pretty nicely on the stave, as you can see. Um, so that's why it says that. Now over here is the treble clef. That's the clef that glockenspiel music is written in. You might think of that as the, the right hand of the piano. Um, just a, a top line as we call it. Now these four sharps here, uh, this tells us we're in the key of E major to start with. Uh, you've got F sharp, C sharp, G sharp and D sharp. So that means that all Fs, Cs, Gs and Ds uh, are sharpened or raised. So when you see uh, this note here uh, in the um, third bar here, uh, <clears throat> it's a C sharp, it's that note there, not that note there. If it didn't have that sharp in the key signature, it would be this white note, but because it's got that sharp, it's that black note. So it's a fair amount of black notes we play, fair amount of sharps we play, but I'll tell you each note. And by the way, I've labeled each note that you play underneath. so. That helps. And if you're wondering what these L's and R's, well, fairly obvious, uh, left mallet and right mallet, left and right, okay? So that's pretty obvious. 4-4 um, four, four is the time signature, so we're counting four beats of the bar. And this crotchet equals 140. That's telling us the uh, speed, <coughs> 140 crotchets per minute. That's slightly slower than the actual um, recording, uh, but, you know, I think you'll probably find it's fast enough. And as is often the case when you're learning something, the advice is play it really slowly uh, at first and then gradually build the speed up. This first bar here, you can see this block hanging from the line. That is a semi brief rest or a whole bar rest. So the first bar, you don't actually play anything at all. So you've got one, two, three, four, nothing to play. And then in the second bar, you've got this uh, very famous uh, riff, which goes like this. Okay, so you go one, two, three, four, one. You see how that fits in. So that sounds pretty nice. Let's decide how we're going to do this. So the first note here, this note here is a B, and it's uh, in the space underneath the first ledger line. It's this note here. Now, not all glockenspiels are the same. You may find you've got more notes at this end or more notes at this end. Um, you'll actually find later on in the tune you're a bit short of notes at this end on this particular instrument, so we play it an octave lower. But anyway, it's the lowest B that you'll find. Uh, left mallet, okay? And then we come up to the A, so almost an octave higher, okay? And you can see it's in between these two black notes here and that's right mallet. And the notes are both quavers, so they're half a beat. Now, this is important. You'll see this a lot in the tune. Two notes that are the same with a little um, tie. And that means to say this note here, this second note of A, you don't actually play it, you count it. So the, the notes you actually play in this bar, in this first bar, are B, A, and then G sharp, which is the one note, the semitone lower, it's a black note, and I use my right mallet on that one as well. So that's your first bar. And you want, if you're wondering what this thing is at the beginning of the bar, it's a one beat rest, a crotchet rest. Notice we're playing the intro here. So you count that one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. So the B and the A come on two and, where the tie is, is beat three, and beat four is where you play the G sharp. One, two, and three, four. Okay? That's pretty straightforward, I think. And then, I talked about this note earlier. In this bar, it's the only note. It's a round open note without a stem. 
it's called a semi brief and it's this note of C sharp I mentioned it before and it's played on the first beat of the bar and lasts all the way through the bar so those two bars together counting you've got one two and three four one two three four now this bar here the last bar of this stave if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say the stave it's these five lines uh, they're kind of shelves for putting the notes on notes either fall on the line or in the space so we've got one note on the line, which is E, and one note in the space, which is F sharp. Normally that note would be F, but it's F sharp because of our key signature. Now this F sharp here is on the top line, but it sharpens all Fs, not just Fs on that line. So we've got E and F sharp, and it's this E here, and this F sharp uh, next to it. So white note, black note, left mallet, right mallet. And these notes are minims, uh, they are round open notes with a stem, so they're two beats each. So the E comes in on beat one, lasts for beats one and two, and the F sharp comes in on beat three, lasts for beats uh, three and four. So uh, one, two, three, four, okay? So if we play that from the beginning, including the uh, the bar of silence at the beginning, you've got one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then on the next stave, bar five, the bars are only numbered at the beginning. So this stave houses bars five, six, seven, and eight. This note is B on the third line up. And it's not the B that we played at the beginning. It's an octave higher than that, right mallet. And it's a semi breve tied to a crotchet. So it's a five beat note. So it's one, two, three, four, one. So put all that together and you've got this. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 